Kevin Harlan, Craig James, and Beasley Reese here in Oakland from the 23-yard line. Raiders have it, first down and 10. And Gannon right to work and goes outside. Where it's caught by the tight end, the galloping Rowan Williams down the sideline and grabbed at the 30-yard line. Hit out of bounds by Jerome Woods. Only his 19th catch of the season. He is playing injured with a knee and an ankle. But that time got a career-long 49-yard reception. All right, it all starts over here. Here's Rice. Brown's coming in motion. They're going to cross. They're going to put pressure, which is going to get to the flat. That opens up. They forget about Roland Williams. And they come across Rice and Brown to the middle of the field. So much attention played on those two fellas. Williams gets the ball, and what would you call him, the galloping guy? Yeah, he was a was. galloping down the sidelines. He is the ex-St. Louis Ram. From the 28th, first and 10 for Gannon. Again, with good time, and throws a dart. This is the other tight end, Jeremy Brigham, who is belted by Woods, tackled by Edwards, and close to a first down. Jeremy Brigham gets his sixth reception of the season, mark him down near the 17-yard line. When you talk to the Chiefs, they talk so much about their disciplines and worries about Rice and Brown that sometimes you forget about the other guys that are out there. And that's why Dick Vermeil and their team have so much respect for Rich Gannon. Rich Gannon just takes what the defense gives them. He's not even, he's not trying to force the ball to Brown and Rice until it's there. He has thrown the fewest interceptions as Gannon in the NFL of any quarterback. Only four this year. They do get a first down outside the Chiefs 17, first and 10. And the hurdling. Charlie Garner goes for three down to about the 14-yard line. And back downstairs we go to Beasley Reese. All right, thanks a lot, guys. This drive set up by tight end Roland Williams. Now, this is a guy, as you mentioned, they got from the Rams. But when we talked to John Gruden, he said that tight end player's got to pick up. They assumed that this young man knew a lot about complicated passing offenses because of his background but with the Rams. But they said he does not. They think he'll be a great player, but that's a great start for this young man. Back upstairs. Yeah, Bees, I mean, they get rid of Rico Dudley looking for that guy, that impact guy at that position. 14-yard line, second down and seven for Gannon. There he goes, Scrambler. He's inside the 10, diving close to a first down. Had to get inside the eight. He picks up six on the fly. So depending on the spot, which Gannon is trying to orchestrate right there, it'll be close to a first. Hey, you know, this guy has run for a uh, first down in 23 straight games, yet his numbers overall rushing are down this year. Again, it's just a savvy, smart guy picking and choosing when he takes off running for first downs. And, and uh, just not a scrambler, he's a player. So you're saying he's, he's not running as much this year on purpose? Yeah, absolutely. Just a smarter football player, and that's why he's the only guy in the NFL with a rating above 100 for quarterbacks. Well, what's interesting is they're not going to take a measurement from the side and that's how far he's got to go the Raiders a season ago and it was well documented led the league in rushing this year they're number 13 a lot of that has to do with Gruden's use of Gannon and Gannon not uh, running his offense Gannon can stay around the NFL a lot longer playing the way he is right now so it is third down and one the big play on this drive was the long completion to the tight end Roland Williams it covered about 49 yards and that comes on the heels of a Kansas City first drive, which produces a rushing 10-yard touchdown and an ensuing fumble on the kickoff by the Raiders, and the Chiefs got three on that. That's where we stand right now. I got you. The Kansas City eight, third down and one. And it's Wheatley getting the first down, brought down by Warfield and Cadrez. The first down for the Raiders, who have it at the Kansas City six, first down and goal to go. You know what I like about football? Sometimes in a rivalry game, you know it's a short distance here. It's like the play at the plate in baseball. Watch Patton, how he gives it up. If you're going to play middle linebacker in the NFL, you know you're going to have to go meet somebody. That's Superman going through the air right there, you know? But that's the kind of statement that he says to his teammates. Hey, look, I'm out here playing. I'm not trying to finish this year out. Let's play to win the game. That's a big body to launch. <laughs> First down and goal from the six. Wheatley in the backfield. Crockett is there as well. Wheatley gets the call. Crockett block. A Wisniewski block. And that opens up the gate and a Raider touchdown. Tyrone Wheatley gets his fourth rushing touchdown of the season. Hey, you know, nice job. Unbalanced right. Look at Wisniewski right there, 76, coming around. Logs the guy at the end. Easy job for Wheatley to come through and 
score the touchdown. And Janikowski has been perfect on PATs this season. Belts in his 35th in a row. A long completion of the tight end Williams. A nice block by Wisniewski of the touchdown run by Tyrone Wheatley. We're back in Oakland. A touchdown run moments ago of six yards by that man, Tyrone Wheatley, who has bounced around the league a little bit, but that time bounced into the end zone and gets the Raiders on the board on a six-yard touchdown run. Now the ensuing kickoff by Sebastian Janikowski, who has not had a lot of touchbacks of late. 11-yard line, Dante Hall. Got a block from Owens and brought down from behind by Johnny Harris. A flag is on the field at the 22. And Janikowski has 11 touchbacks on the season. Good for number two in the NFL, but it's been a while yeah. since he's had another touchback. And it's crazy. I sit there and watch him kick 60-yard field goals in pregame. During the return, holding number 34, Kansas City, 10 yards. Timeout. And that's Mike Cloud, and that's some of the mistake-free football I mentioned before that the Chiefs and Dick Vermeil have got to play with this afternoon. Timeout. The Chiefs get it after the Raider kickoff on a touchdown run by Wheatley. First and 10 from about the 12. It's Priest Holmes again finding some room and brought down by Grady Jackson and Chris Cooper along with Marquez Pope. A gain of six or seven yards on the play up to about the 18-yard line, bringing up second down. Really not a good sign for the Raiders when you put eight guys up there committed to stopping Chris Priest Holmes and he still reels off a seven, eight-yard run on you on first down. They're just not penetrating, just not getting across the line of scrimmage. Last week it was Michael Pittman for the Arizona Cardinals, and today it's Holmes. And as you see some other scores at the bottom of your screen, that Pittsburgh Jets game a big one. It's second down and three at about the 19-yard line for the Chiefs. Play action. Here comes Cooper. There goes the first reception to Tony Gonzalez. Racing out of bounds, pushed that way by William Thomas, and has the first down. And today, Craig, was about as fun a day as the NFL has had all season. Jets in Pittsburgh, uh, Green Bay in Chicago, St. Louis, San Francisco. I mean, tremendous games all the way around. Big rivalry day. Half minute to play here in the first quarter. Chiefs on top by three. From the 22, first and ten for Green. Good time. Winds up, goes deep down. Side juggled and dropped incomplete by Tony Gonzalez. And the coverage on the play by Eric Allen. It'll be second down. Yeah, you know what? Tony Gonzalez is just looking for opportunities to go one on one. He gets his chance over here. Ball goes up high. Derek Gibson's there. And Tony would probably be the guy to tell you right now I should have caught that football. And he wants it. This is a guy that's so committed to wanting to win that he just wants it sometimes maybe too hard like right there too badly can't make the play second down and 10 on the 22 draw play to Holmes slips by Reagan Upshaw then brought down by William Thomas and close to a first down again he runs so hard every time he's up just beyond the 32 yard line and the first quarter clock continues to tick and the Chiefs will let it do that way. It looks yep, they get another first down. They continue to shred the run defense of the Raiders. And what Vermeil said, hey, look, they're great on third down. They stop people. Let's go ahead and find a way to get a first down on first or second down. Priest Holmes has 67 yards, a touchdown run, and a 1,000 yard season. At the end of one, the Chiefs lead the Raiders 10 to 7. A Priest Holmes touchdown run, a field goal after a Raider fumble. Wheatley has a touchdown run. There's a look at Priest Holmes split out now as a wide receiver. It's first down and 10 from the 32 out to Holmes. Lead block by Spears, a block by Shields, and there he goes! A foot race on the play with Dorsett. He's in for the touchdown! A 67-yard gallop by Priest Holmes, his second touchdown today. Even Dorsett, with his great lineage and his terrific track exploits at the University of Pittsburgh, could not catch up with Holmes. Menace comes over to the right side. They get a little screen going out there. They get out with the blocking. Lineman caravanning all the way down the field. Kevin, you made the call. Look at 
Priest Holmes split out wide. I don't think the Raiders recognize him. Spectacular beginning for the Chiefs. And Peterson's extra point is good. Touchdown. Run of 10. A pass, catch, and run of 67. And the Chiefs lead it 17 to 7. What a way to begin the second quarter for the Chiefs. A catch and run of 67 yards for Priest Holmes, who scored the game's first touchdown on a 10-yard touchdown run. 17 to 7, Kansas City. And the kickoff on the fly. Terry Kirby finds a seam. Grabbed by Warfield and brought down at about the 48-yard line. The flag is down. 31-yard return as it stands right now. Ron Blum is our referee today here in Northern California. There you go with that nugget stuff. <laughs> I love it. That is against Kansas City. Personal foul, 15-yard face mask. Number 24, Kansas City. 15 yards, first down, timeout. William Barty, second Chiefs penalty. Priest Holmes has 151 of Kansas City's 181 offensive yards today. Well, we're not even a minute into the second quarter, and Priest Holmes has already made his mark in this quarter with a touchdown reception moments ago. And he has a touchdown run of 10 yards on top of that. A Peterson 43-yard field goal from the Chiefs. 36 after a Kansas City penalty. First and 10. It was a good return by Terry Kirby on the kickoff. Here comes the rush. Here goes the pass to the tight end, Jeremy Brigham. Brought down by Woods and Edwards. At about the 19, 17-yard pickup. And a Raider first down, but given great field position because of a Kansas City mistake. Great field position to start with. They go two tight ends over here. Brigham's going to leak to the flat over to your left side, to your right side on the monitor. And what happens is Gannon moves right. Everybody forgot about Jeremy Brigham. Brigham kind of moved back to the middle of the field. And because of his wide open stature, Gannon didn't have a problem throwing back across his body. Randy Jordan becomes a receiver at the bottom of your screen. Garner in the backfield inside the 19. First and 10. Gannon. With the hands of the crossing running back Garner, flag is down at about the nine-yard line, far side of the field. Charlie Garner has had two consecutive 1,000-yard rushing seasons. That's another penalty on the Chiefs. I said before, they can't make mistakes. They've made two big ones already. This could be the third. Holding 59, Kansas City, five yards, first down. Donnie Edwards, it's all over Jeremy Brigham. It was a slot to the right side. Edwards was over on top of him, matched up one-on-one. -on -one. And for whatever reason, he just never let go of them. They got beyond five yards, and Donnie just kept holding him. Well, they have still not thrown to Tim Brown yet. Rice has one reception, a short game. First and 10 from the 14 after the Kansas City penalty. Wheatley. Stuck by Wesson. No game. Kevin Harlan, Craig James, and Beasley Reese. As Trent Green takes a look at the latest reports. Yeah, I give you a report here. In the red zone, the Raiders are the number two offense in the red zone this year. That's the report that they need to be worried about right now. Second down and 10 at the 14. Gannon. Great time. Good block by Sims. He scrambles. He's got to get inside the five for a first down. He gets out of bounds at about the five-yard line. Scrambling for nine. So he's running probably a little bit more, Craig, than he's run most of the season today. He's running a little bit more than they thought he would run at Kansas City. And, and what they're doing is they're really dropping back deep in coverage. And Rich Gannon, again, this is a guy who's rushed for 24 straight games a first down. And, it, and it's not because he's trying to run the football. That's just what they're giving him. And I can't say it strongly enough how he manages a football game right now better than most quarterbacks in the NFL. Wheatley and Crockett in the eye. Third down and one from the Chiefs. Five. The fake to Wheatley. Here comes Gannon. He may go in. And he does. A five-yard touchdown run. go 
over and share oxygen bottles with Priest Holmes. Guarantee you, Rich Gannon didn't show up today thinking he was gonna have to run this much. But again, that's what the Chiefs are giving him. He's taking it. Second rushing touchdown today by the 36-year-old Gannon. And Janikowski's extra point is in. Rich Gannon today making his 44th consecutive start for the Raiders. And he just brought him back against the Chiefs. Well, in this game, there have been six total possessions, five scores between these two teams. Raiders, two rushing touchdowns. Chiefs have scored on the ground and through the air, both by Priest Holmes, and the difference, a 43-yard field goal by Tom Peterson. And after the Gannon touchdown, the ensuing kickoff is out of bounds. A penalty flag is thrown. The ball will be placed at the 40-yard line. Kickoff and that is bounds. not what Janikowski wanted the to do. The ball belongs to Kansas City. 30 yards from the spot of the kick on the 40-yard line. First down, timeout. And the Chiefs set to get it. A disgusted John Gruden barking from the sideline as Raiders down by three. Janikowski just kicked off and out of bounds. And the Chiefs start at their own 40, first down and 10. Play action by Green. Moves up and throws one into the far side incomplete. Aiming for Alexander, the Chiefs have had touchdown drives today of 88 yards and 89 yards. And lead it 17-14. Beasley, what do you have? Well, you know, yesterday when we were talking to uh, Raiders head coach John Gruden, I thought we were going to go talk to a guy who has one of the best teams in the league. He expected this to be a dogfight. He talked about his defensive struggles. He talked about a lot of things on his offense that he's not satisfied with. So he expected this to be a tight battle. We've got a great game. Trent Green is under center, four of six today, 115 yards and a touchdown pass, and Daryl Russell jumping the gun. There go the flags. Daryl Russell has been the focus of a lot of stories out here on the West Coast. A lot of distractions they've had to deal with. He's one of them. Speculation that he may be suspended. Coachman, number 96, Oakland, five yards, repeat second down. Speculation he may be suspended by the NFL for violating its substance abuse policy. The league is looking into a report right now about Russell. It would be his third such violation. He was, remember, suspended for the first four games of the season with his second violation. Second down and five from the Kansas City 45. And off goes to Holmes. Another flag. The tackle made by Tony Bryant in the game of one to 46. The Chiefs have lost four consecutive games to the Oakland Raiders. And that has not happened very often in the history of this series, especially with the success of these teams in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. The Raiders kind of dominated. In the 90s, the Chiefs kind of dominated. Offside, number 94, Oakland. Five yards by measurement. That's a first down. And, you know, the Raiders, this is maybe what Beasley was talking about. You know, Gruden saying to us how he's got to find out a little bit more about his team here. They come out, they stop the Chiefs on first down, so it's first and ten. They jump off sides. They're off sides. They do it again off sides, another first down. So those are the things that really keep you as a head coach from getting the consistency that you want. So both teams making some mistakes. First and ten. Chiefs at I got the 50. I got you, Greg. I got you. Timeout taken by Green. So he'll burn the first of his three. The Chiefs are on top with the green touchdown pass, 17 to 14. Beautiful look at the Golden Gate Bridge. Not far from here in Oakland, Kevin Harlan and Craig James. Well, kind of game we expected. Well, it's a game that the Chiefs were hoping for. The running game, the physical start of the game. That's what they were looking for. From the 51st and 10. After a Kansas City timeout, Jason Dunn was in the targets of quarterback Trent Green. Incomplete pass, second down and ten. A couple of drops now. Tony Gonzalez had a big ball down the field. He dropped that ball. It was one-on-one, -on -one, tough catch, should have made it. Dunn drops one there. You can't put all the blame on Trent Green for sometimes the ineffectiveness of this offense. It all has to be there. They all have to support him. Derek Alexander early on had a big catch for him. That's the supporting cast he needs. Now second down and 10 from the 50. Green fires a pass. That's through the hands and incomplete. Tight end Tony Gonzalez couldn't snare it. That's three. Yep. Mistakes. That is a thing that the Chiefs could not afford today against the 
Raiders as you see some scores here at the bottom of your screen it, it's a kind of season though for the Chiefs it just for whatever reason has not clicked in so many avenues for coach Dick Vermeil. Tony Gonzalez told us his mother was calling him saying Tony why aren't you catching more balls. <laughs> he said mom I'm having a good year I'm just not scoring touchdowns they're covering me in the red zone. They're down in 10 from the 50 green is four incomplete passes and three drops. He slips, regains his footing, throws outside incomplete. He lost his balance and presence on the play, and the Chiefs have got a punt for the first time this afternoon. Well, that was an ugly series there. Chiefs didn't take advantage of two offsides penalties by the Raiders. Middle of the field, first and ten. Dropped a couple of passes. Can't do that. As a young team, Dick Vermeil said we have to do today number one first and foremost we have to win the turnover battle today we have to be plus in turnovers because we're not good enough to make mistakes and overcome them. Tim Brown now returning punch full time because David Dunn who was the returner before fumbled last week and crossed the Raiders again against Arizona. So now Brown who has not returned a punt since 1998 although he has fair caught punts over the last couple of years fair catches that 33 yard punt. By Dan Straczynski. At the 16. Time out. You've been there before, haven't you? Oh, I was nervous, too. Got to be honest with you. I was sitting next to Mike Ditka and uh, Jerry Glenville. I thought, you know what? Maybe they don't like those guys. I might be the, the victim of just because I'm standing in the wrong place. After a Kansas City punt, their first today, first and 10 for the Raiders at the 16 yard line. Gannon right to work on first down. Fires a pass, and it's caught. By Tim Brown, gain of 11 on the play, up to about the 27-yard line. Good for a first down. And, and you know what? They're bracketing Brown out over here. He's got help to the inside. Warfield's outside. You see the safety on the inside. Look at the help right here. They're going to bracket. They're going to bracket him. Look how loose they are. Look how loose. You know what? That's not smart football. I've learned from Beasley Reese a lot about football this year covering people. you got to bracket them, but you got to play closer like it's a man. Don't be soft. First down and 10 from the 27. The pitch out to Garner. But the Chiefs slow him down, and he's finally doused on the play by Donnie Edwards for no gain. A couple guys slowed him down. Ransom along with Woods. Second down, 11 through the 26. Again, good block by Kennedy. Time to throw. Rips it to the side where it's caught by running back Charlie Garner. He has four yards on the reception, the 43rd of his season. The ex-San Francisco 49er and Philadelphia Eagle. It'll now bring up third down and seven with the ball at about the 29. Oh, Rich Gannon, here's a guy that uh, seven of eight, I'd say that's managing it, and he's been running, had a run for first down, had a touchdown run, doing his job. One time Kansas City starter was Gannon. 29 yard line, third down and seven. Here comes Hicks, there goes the pass, incomplete. Eric Hicks made that work, no yellow on the field, and Gannon is snuffed. Hicks did the job, unencumbered coming up the middle, and that forces an Oakland Raider punt. Ooh, I tell you what, old Chiefs get a little momentum. Here are the two guys, Rice and Brown. Uh, Brown top, Rice goes across the middle. They're trying to run the screen underneath, but the Chiefs were coming up hard, linebacker inside. No way they were fooled on that play there. Chiefs linebackers were up, ready for it. Saw the lineman trying to let them go by, not playing possum with them like they wanted to, and made the play. Adam True, the center, just completely missed the block on the line for the Raiders. The Aaron Graham snap to Shane Leckler. Sends a rocket to the 11-yard line where it's caught by Dante Hall. Got tangled up and brought down by Eric Barton. A reserve linebacker at about the 20-yard line. 60-yard punt, nine-yard return. A punt by the Raiders forced by Ryan. Unsportsmanlike conduct on number 26, who was knocked out of bounds, did not make an immediate attempt to come back inbounds to cover the punt. That's a 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. It'll be fourth down. All right, Ryan, way to cover us up here. We got you. We got you, number seven. It took him a while to figure it out because yeah. uh, our break was a couple minutes, and they were discussing it for all two of those minutes. Not just a 15-yard penalty. I mean, it'll. It, that was a heck of a punt by Leckler, the last one. 
negated. So now that long of 60 yards will be wiped away. And Leckler will punt again. Rush came on from Jason Dunn. Punt is away into the sun. Here comes Dante Hall on the fly and he's into Raider territory. Out of bounds at about the 46 yard line. As they continue to mark it off. And that short. There's some question as to whether he was raising his hand. You've got to raise it vertically. And that is the signal for a fair catch. What he's saying is this is what I did. I waved it like that. Which is basically a signal to the rest of your special teams guys to leave the ball alone. Yeah, it's such a short kick. That's why he was doing that. He's saying this is such a short kick. Get out of the way. But he decides to come on up and take a chance at it. That's a 35-yard swing on that 15-yard penalty. Very good. 45-yard line. First and 10 for the Chiefs. Green to Holmes. Steers had a block, but then they come after him hard. Greg Beaker, Tony Bryant, loss of two on the play. Push the ball back to about the 47-yard line where it'll be second down and 12. That's the kind of responsibility that they have to have and maintain for the Raiders. That time, Beaker's the middle linebacker. They spill everything to the outside. Watch how they start over here. Here's Beaker. Watch how they push everything to his side. They're trying to get great to get the ball to the outside. Like, look, I got the wrong guy circled there, but 54 gets to the outside. He's the one who has the ball when it gets to the outside. That's the responsibility they're talking about. Look at Greg Beaker. One of the best middle linebackers in the NFL. Second down and 12, back at the 47. They set up a screen. It's off to Holmes, who was brought down and hit initially by Marquez. But another flag is thrown. Ball is resting at the 41. It's a gain of four as it stands right now. This penalty is against the Chiefs. Chiefs have won three of their last four games here in Oakland. Their last win was back in 99. One by three. Eagle block in the back. Number 49 during the run. Ten yards from the previous spot. Repeat second down. Tony Richardson. St. Louis goes to 10 and 2. They may be the single best team right now in the National Football League. I, I watched that game this morning. I'd say what impressed me the most about it was the fact that the Rams' defense played so well. See, Buffalo came back and beat Carolina by a point. Second win for Greg Williams. Travis Henry is a rookie out of Tennessee, a running back for the Bills with a good day. All right, second down and 22 at the penalty in tow, back to the 43. Shotgun snapped to Green. Good block by Tate. That's about all that was there for Green to do. And that ball whistles over the head of Tony Gonzalez and complete third and 22. Nice catch, Maz. <laughs> Former Arena League player and demon on special teams and a nickel linebacker. <laughs> <laughs> it is. That's a pretty darn good catch. Get you some up there. Look at that. That's a heck of a grip. One-hander. Next thing, the meetings next week, he'll be lobbying for a little short yardage goal line playing tight end. Now 43 yard line, third down and 22. Ball play handoff and it goes to Holmes. First time for that by Johnny Harris is finally brought down by Derek Gibson and Chris Cooper. You see that 75 when they wear the Raiders colors. It reminds you so much of uh, another famous number 75 who was here for so long. Howie Long. Yeah. I played against him, uh, and, uh, you know, when I saw, I, I got a little shaky up here just seeing 75 <laughs> down there. If he had the neck roll, it would be a, a spitting image. He'd look great. I can't believe they have a retired 75's jersey I here. Too. I too. And I was thinking the same thing watching tape this week as Straczynski will get set to boot his second of the day. There's Tim Brown. Again, he has taken the place of David Dunn, who has cut this past week, the regular return man. Not since 1998, as Brown returned to punt. He has been back there in punt formation, but fair caught everything since 98. Chiefs are going to regret not taking advantage of these last two series in the field position. Good point. And Brown signal for the fair catch and he made a mistake right there that a rookie would normally make he caught it inside the 10 yard line uh, uh, you know what what they're doing here Tim Brown's back there he's back there not just to fair catch the ball they may be a little conservative with him you know Gruden said we might tell him to fair catch the ball but he is at freedom to throw the to, to take off and run it first and ten after the Kansas City punt for Danny 
Across the middle, quick throw, caught for the second time today by Jay Rice. Fumble on the play. He bobbled it. It's loose. Raiders have already turned it over once this afternoon, but did Rice reel it in? He must have. At about the 17-yard line, Rice does not fumble all that much. Someday we will see him on the steps in Canton, Ohio. Yeah, you know, coming back across the middle of the field like that, there's so many folks be coming after you there. He's very lucky that ball bounced back into his bread basket. Rice now with that reception, and that's what they're calling it. Over 20,000 receiving yards. 20,000. No player has ever done that. And the handoff, and it goes to Wheatley for a gain of three on that second down and short play, and he should be, yep, he does. He gets the first down at the 20-yard line. Jerry Rice, what a, what a, just a remarkable leader, player, community guy, everything you want. He's the guy that we need to have video pictures and tapes sent to about how he handles life to the man in Minnesota. Yes, the man huh? in Minnesota needs a lot of tapes. And Randy a lot of Moss counseling. needs a lot of counseling from this guy here. From the 21st down and 10. Tight end Brigham is on the move, as is Gannon. On his first down pass, to the aforementioned Brigham. Banged by Warfield, hit by Wesley, and then finally this taken down by Cadrez after a gain of two. And he's up to the 22-yard line, second down and eight. Three catches for Brigham today from quarterback Rich Gannon. You know what's happening here, Beasley? They're, they're lulling them to sleep because Rice freedom. and Brown are taking off from that slots over there. They're throwing underneath the Brigham. They got to maintain their disciplines, though. You know, they better be because I've seen uh, Tim Brown want, run one out and go already. So they have to be very careful. At some point, he's going to go long. Second down and eight from the 22. There goes Brown. Gannon, a good block again by Kennedy. Back outside they go to Wheatley, the running back, and he is brought down by Cadrez, the very mobile linebacker, replacing the injured Lou Bush today. And a gain of two on the play up to the 24. As you take a look at the ex-Bronco and ex-New York Jet, Glenn Cadrez. I'm very impressed with his Chiefs defense today. You know, they really are coming up. They're dropping back, almost allowing the three or four yard gain. Then they're really hitting them as soon as they catch it. You and I have talked all season about how positive they have stayed as you take a look at Greg Robinson. How positive the Chiefs have stayed under Dick Vermeil, even though they're three and eight. They're all playing hard for the future. They're looking for a job next year, too. It's audition time. They're down at six from the 24. Good time for Gannon. Fires a pass right through the hands of Jerry Rice. Was it tipped? Was it deflected? Did he lose it in the sun? Did he get something in his eye? I mean, in a case like that, I think he got something in his eye. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? It had to have been tipped. At least you're giving the benefit of the doubt because he doesn't miss many of them. No, that ball just went right through there. Boy, I don't think he just shortened up. It's like he was trying to. He thought the defender was closer to him than he was. He brought his arms in. Alligator armed it. Brought him in there to protect himself on the blow. I think something got in his eye. And, they're and that's exactly what they're doing. They're looking in his eye right now. Huh. Yeah, because the last thing you'd ever want to say about Jerry Rice is that he's afraid to go over the middle. Nice defense by the Chiefs. A line drive shot downfield by Lecker, picked up by Dante Hall. He had a good return. Good stick by Johnny Dante Harris, Hall a former Jerry high school Jerry. quarterback in Chicago. Big day by Chris Holmes. Although crammed inside most of the first and one play in the second quarter. Holmes again. Chris Cooper makes the stop. Loss of three on the play. Now, this is an interesting story because Chris Cooper, we talked about him wearing the familiar number 75. He is a Division II player from Nebraska-Omaha and a sixth-round pick and has not seen a lot of time this season, but making an imprint on today. 6'5", 275, rookie. He'll end up being about a 290 guy. You know what? I think they should retire that number. Oh, get it off the field. Second down, 13 from the 41. Bruce Holmes with his rushing today has gone over 1,000 yards for the season. Good block by Tate. Green fires a pass, sneaks it inside. Gonzalez at the 50. And it's a gain of nine. Tackled by Marquez Pope. And that time, the quarterback Green had to thread the needle. They're bunched up over on the left side here. He's right here in the middle here. He's going to drive hard and hook up on the out outside there. He's not going to drop anymore. They've already had three drops today. The safety played a lot deeper than he was probably should have, but that's respecting the speed. 
Tony Gonzalez. Well, I know it's early, and we're approaching the two-minute warning, but this is a pretty important third and four play from the 50. Green across the middle. They've got Richardson, and to get to the 46. He'll be close to a first down. His forward progress will get him in the vicinity as Dick Vermeil will survey from the sideline, and I assume the flags pins from the sideline will come on out and we'll take a look and see what's going on. Raiders losing last week, as we said before, in overtime to Arizona by three. They have not lost back-to-back -back home games since John Gruden's first year back in 1998. I'll tell you where this game's headed, though, for the Chiefs, and that's south unless they get Priest Holmes running the ball again. And about five lengths shy. Well, now it is fourth down. The defense has had a pretty good stand here the last possession or two by the Raiders. What would you do? It's They're three down. and eight. They're three and eight. They're young. Hey, what, what's the difference? You know, three and nine or eight and you know four. Go for it. You got to go for it. I agree. Hammer and hole. Go on for it. I'm telling you, this game is close to turning around big time for the Raiders because the Chiefs have squandered at this point three series in a row at midfield. They're inside the Raider 47. They've got it fourth down in inches, and Daryl Russell will dig in on that line. Larry Parker's in motion. Handoff. Richardson digging. He didn't get it. In fact, he lost a couple yards because Elijah Alexander, who is quick as a cat from Kansas State, came up the middle and stuffed them. And on downs, the Raiders get it, and look where they get the ball. Yeah, I think, though, though, Beaker and your old guy, 75, Cooper came up there. They kind of penetrated, pushed it back. I was kind of surprised with the call. I thought what they might do is either stretch the ball to Priest Holmes and looking for the gap to cut back or play action pass to Tony Gonzalez. That's Greg Beaker. Never a pro bowler, but deserving, it seems like, over the last five, six years for sure. So on downs, they get it back. The Raiders at their 48, first down and 10. Raiders have two rushing touchdowns. One by Rich Gannon, who's under center. And a handoff goes to Gardner. Dancing his way, gets by Warfield, shimmying his way down to the 45. Nice run by the very elusive Charlie Gardner. He picks up eight yards, setting up second down and two. Dude, that was so quick, I had a hard time keeping up with him with my eyeballs. <laughs> He's so, he makes a different move with every part of his body. Holy <laughs> mackerel, imagine trying to square that thing up. A close game, a good game. The Chiefs at the two-minute warning lead by three. They take a look at Priest Holmes, who's accounted for the two touchdowns today for the Chiefs. Most of it, as you see, on the ground and in the first quarter. They're, all of it. they're in trouble. I'm telling you, the Chiefs are in trouble. They, they've lost the ability to run the ball, and the Raiders are going to pound them before it's over. He did get a touchdown reception early in the second quarter at home. So that's why most of the stuff was done early on. Second and two. Outside they go. First down reception made by Tim Brown. Out of bounds. Gain of four at about the 40-yard line. We, we, we talk a lot about quarterbacks and their coordinators and their their systems of how you check down one, two, then go three, four, five. He was looking to the left and then whipped his body around immediately and went to the flat on the right side. That's just a total grasp of what he's supposed to be doing out there. Rich Gannon going for his third consecutive 3,000-yard passing season. He's got a first down pass to Brown. At the Kansas City 40, where it's first and 10 right now, 155 to play in the second quarter. Raiders have all three of their timeouts. Outside, Terry Kirby with a stutter step, and then he is doused. Nicely on the play by Marcus Patton, who is the leading tackler for the Kansas City defense. One yard gain on the play to the 39. Second down and nine. <laughs> You think linebackers ever use that in their meetings? Let's douse the running back. <laughs> he is doused. <laughs> Extinguished, I guess. Yeah. Is that kind of where you're headed with that? Yeah. My my vocabulary has grown so much working yeah, in this season. Was, that's what I was hoping for. I, I'm, I'm, I'm on the right court. That's what I was hoping for. Sucking down nine from the 39. And it moves up nimble. Throws a pace. And it's right down the middle and caught inside the Kansas City 20-yard line. Hard and in. Who else? The Hall of Famer to be Jim. Who today plays in his 250th NFL game. And we've got a timeout. Rice 
has now caught a pass in 238 consecutive games. That is an NFL record along with the 13 others he holds. Think about that. Just even to play that many games. That's <laughs> incredible. And his big time catch pulls the Raiders to the Chiefs 16 with first and 10. Raiders have two timeouts. Gannon right down the middle. This is the other Hall of Famer. And that's Tim Brown who picks up a quick eight. And he's down to the Kansas City eight. It'll be second down and two. Clock is ticking. Raiders again with two timeouts. A little strategy going on here. Putting pressure on that sec secondary of the Chiefs. They have Brown to the right slot, Rice to the left slot. It's really putting a lot of pressure on the secondary. Young at times, trying to make the right calls with their calls. Second down two from the eight. Runner in the backfield, great time for Gannon. Easy touchdown pass to Jerry Rice. And the Raiders have their first lead this afternoon. So the Chiefs gambled at midfield on fourth and inches, couldn't get it. There's a Janikowski extra point. And on downs, the Raiders got it back, and they exploit it and cash in. Great pocket can't stay with him. Rice drives him hard to the inside, back to the outside. Perfect execution. 39-year-old Jerry Rice hauls in his eighth touchdown reception of the season from quarterback Rich Gannon. Raiders on top for the first time today. 21 to 17. Kind of quiet, nothing happened with Jerry Rice or Tim Brown there for a while in the first quarter, but the Raiders defense has settled down. They've stopped the Chiefs' ground game. The Chiefs dropped several passes, had some penalties, and wham, the home team has uh, now awake. They're still working on Rice's eye. Something's going on with that eye. We'll try to figure out at halftime and give you some kind of a report to begin the second half. And a, oh, Janikowski slipped in the ball, as you see, scuttles downfield, picked up by Monty Beisel. He was a former All-State fullback in the state of Kansas, and he runs that way, kind of bulldozing his way ahead. And he's up to the 39-yard line, and downstairs we go to Beasley Reese. All right, thanks a lot, Kevin. You were talking about Jerry Rice's eye. They continue to put eye drops in his eye, but I'm told by the Raiders that he's fine, but that something must be wrong. They keep trying to clean it out. Yeah. Now, Ray Crockett, had a great match against Jerry Rice in the end zone there. He took the quick slant, but was beaten on the slant and out. That's two great veterans going against each other. Crockett had never been beaten by Rice for a touchdown. And Crockett has played in the NFL 13 seasons. Chiefs have two timeouts from the 39, first and 10. Green in the gun. Here comes Bryant. Good block by Spears. There goes the pass. It's caught by Alexander. Stephens is running to Polk. Gallops down the sideline. And out of bounds at the 15 yard line. A 46 yard pickup by Derek Alexander. Dicker Mill calls these explode plays. They run Tony Gonzalez hard up the middle of the field. That pushes a safety back deep. Alexander drags across with a nice stiff arm, a couple of them, to get deeper down the field. These are the exploding plays that they need on offense. He said, we can't win just running the football. We need some big explosions. That's what he's talking about. 22 seconds to play in the half. Chiefs with two timeouts. First down and 10 from the Raider 15-yard line. Green. Moves up on the run, chased by Coleman, fumbles the ball, and it's reeled in. That get in by Charles Woodson. Another fumble by Green. He's had a ton this season. A flag has been thrown on the play. A flag is down at the six. It may be on the Raiders, and it is. And the Chiefs dodge a bullet. Chiefs have not turned the ball over yet in the game. John Gruden's Raiders have turned it over once. The quarterback was still in the pocket. Illegal contact. Number 23, Oakland. Five yards. That's a first down. He called that on Pope. Tony Gonzalez was on the right side going up the middle of the field, and he just would not let go of him. He couldn't get off. It was almost like he couldn't get off of Gonzalez. 
and it was opposite. It was away from the play. That's why everybody's booing because the play rolled around to the left side with Trent Green, and they didn't realize this official, the back judge, he caught it. He saw it. We're going to call this first and goal. The ball is right at the 10. Here comes Green, and here comes Beaker, and then he is smothered by Cody Jackson. First sack today, clock stopped 11 seconds, timeout Kansas City. They'll have one left. They'll split the sack for Beaker. He's got two and a half, and Grady Jackson now has one and a half sacks this season. Greg Beaker is playing this game downhill. Number 54 right here. He is playing downhill. He's got rollerblades going, and they can't <laughs> stop him. And, uh, I, I mean, he is. He's just seeing things. He's setting them up, lulling them to sleep. He didn't give the perception that he was going to come with that. He was moving with motion. So the sack puts it back at the 16, where it will be second down and goal. As Green has retrieved the play from the sideline, and that's the kind of day that he has faced under the pressure of the Raider defense this afternoon. Second and goal at the 16th. One Chiefs timeout remaining. Watch this guy right here. Oh, a little screen there to Priest Holmes or something would be effective. And across the middle to Richardson. Diving to the 10. They'll call the timeout. And they do. Gain a six. Down to the 10. And they'll try to go for three. So the Raiders do hold the Chiefs from getting in. Tonight after 60 minutes when Professor Max Bickford asks his daughter to rewrite the school song. You try and after hitting 14 straight, Todd Peterson misses. He had it 14 consecutive field goals. And he's already belted one through today from 43 yards. So on that miss, the Chiefs hand it over to the Raiders. Yeah, it, you know what? It's like he cramps up here against the Raiders. And, and this was ideal what they did offensively to get the ball down there. You know, obviously an elation from the Raiders and total disappointment for the Chiefs. Just not good enough to overcome those things. That's what Vermeil's so upset about. Raiders will just eat up the final seconds and be glad they lead going into halftime. Well, Peterson had been almost perfect all season. That's only the third miss of the season. That is his first miss since late September. But it costs Dick Vermeil and the Chiefs three points in what could be even a closer game at halftime. And let's go downstairs to Beasley Reese. All right, thanks, guys. I'm with Coach Gruden. Coach, it's a great football game for the fans, but from your perspective, what do you get fixed at the halftime? We got to fix our defense. I'll say that. We made a couple errors in the kicking game. We're giving up way too many big plays on defense right now, and we got to get that thing going. All right, Coach. Thanks a lot. This week, John Gruden took himself out of the running for the Notre Dame job. And we recall that back in January, he was up for the Ohio State job, too, and he removed himself from that list as well. The Oakland Raiders have their first lead of the game at halftime, 21-17. The Chiefs led early and often to begin it. Kansas City's running back, Priest Holmes, with the first of his two touchdowns. And then the Jerry Rice go-ahead touchdown reception. It's 21-17 at halftime from the sold-out Coliseum in Oakland, California. Our second half kickoff is next here on CBS. In Oakland, 21-17. With the Raiders over Dick Vermeil's Kansas City Chiefs downstairs to Beasley Reese. Uh, Coach, it's a great football game. What did you tell the guys in the locker room? Well, I told them I thought we'd taken their best shots. We've got to do a little better job in our kicking game, especially if we score and kick off. We can't put them ball back where they did. And the coach made a dumb decision on fourth and inches. Okay. All right, coach. Good luck. Second half. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you took responsibility. I didn't think it was a dumb decision. No, I, I can't say it was either. No, this is a team that had three series in a row where they didn't take advantage of it being at midfield. That's what his problem is. Has nothing to do with that. And then, you know, the missed field goal. Peterson just choked up. Dante Hall awaits the kickoff from Sebastian Janikowski. What about the one? And Randy Jordan got a hand on him. And a 24-yard return. Kevin Harlan alongside Craig James. Uh, what do you think about the second half? 
it's all about what happened at the first of the game. The, the Chiefs have to go back to running the football. The Raiders stopped it late in the second quarter. Now can the Chiefs regroup and get it going again? If they don't do that, the Raiders will pound them in the second half. Raiders have had success, of course, this season at 8-3 and three coming in. Kansas City at 3-8. and eight. Raiders have one turnover so far today. The Chiefs have none. So from the 25-yard line, Trent Green. With his numbers in front of you there, 8 of 14. At the touchdown pass at 67 yards to Priest Holmes. Lines up first down and 10. The block by Spears, the throw by Green. Tipped incomplete. Nice job by Charles Woodson. As he was defending Derek Alexander, it'll be second down and 10. 30 minutes of football. Here are some of the numbers. Uh, you know, this the 66 yards rushing right there. That was early on. The big plays on the passes for the but but I really believe they dropped now probably four passes. Here's the one turnover. Um, it, this is a game here now where both defenses will have made some adjustments, but specifically the Raiders, they've got to penetrate to stop Priest Holmes. And the Heisman Trophy winner, Charles Woodson, who said he voted for Eric Crouch, the quarterback in Nebraska, second down and ten. Oh, breaking one tackle after another and diving up the middle, running into Dell Russell and taken down at the 36-yard line. Good for a Kansas City first down. You know what? This is this. I'm not so sure. You, you see the penetration that comes up here and then the support that comes back. I, I watched how they're not tackling. Look how they're using their arms and trying to just get up high. I mean, right in here, this guy's got to come back, not give his body up. That's just poor tackling there. I, I know it's a good run, but that's sloppy. Four in this tackle. First down and 10 from the 36. And they blow that one dead before it had a chance to get going. Take a look at Brian Waters taking the place of the injured Donald Willis. Start, start, number 54, Kansas City. Five yards. Repeat first down. He has started at center against the Raiders, ironically enough, to begin the season. He's had two starts at guard. And he starts a guard today. Yeah, he was ready to come out and slobber knock Russell. Have a big Daryl Russell across from you, make you want to jump a little, won't it? I agree. Well, likewise, very athletic. First and 15 to push it back to about the 31. Short drop for Green. Quick throw caught by Eddie Kennison. They just signed him this week. He picks up seven yards. He walked out on the Denver Broncos in early November, said he was going to retire. Then, uh, and I got the hint around the league. He wanted to come back, and the Chiefs took a chance. Of course, Dick Vermeil had him in St. Louis. And he liked him there, and he said he showed up this week, and he, that Kennison surprised the Chiefs players. The wide receivers, everybody was surprised by the guy. And this all goes back to finding somebody who can make plays, make plays to help out Tony Gonzalez and take the pressure off of him. 38-yard line, second down and eight. And off the Holmes, no movement here. Brady Jackson, along with Tony Bryant, get a hold of him. Brady Jackson, Tony Bryant. Now there's recognition for you by the Raiders. Bryant's backside. He sees the pulling guard, sees him moving. Marcus Spears, as soon as he starts that direction, he's coming around. Those are little adjustments. Those are recognition factors. Those are things defenders have to pick up on if they're going to stop the running game once the game's gotten going. You and I have always talked about the importance of what a team does coming out of halftime. Right now, the Chiefs face one of those interesting calls, third and eight. And the Raiders are very good offensively to start a game, and they're very good defensively to come out in the second half, typically. In fact, it's so important that Trent Green wants to talk things over with his sideline, trailing 21-17. Seventeen, Oakland after a Kansas City timeout, third down and eight. Green, pocket crumbling, there he goes, here comes Russell, and Green is close to a first down, but probably shy by the length of a football, shy of the 45. In a seven on third and eight, and the Chiefs have got a punt in their first second half possession. Nice job by Beekert and the Raiders. Chiefs come out, they get a first down, and what are they doing first and 10? False start. So it's now first and 15, and you just can't do that against the Raiders, who are so good defensively on third down. You can't get in long situations. Chiefs have not converted a third down today, 0-5. Low snap from Kendall Gammon to Dan Straczynski. This will be fair caught back at the nine-yard line again by Tim Brown. That's a 45-yard punt. You can see the frustration he's having. Hey, 
Is there a flag on the play? I, I don't see the flag, but there was a either. whole lot of jumping and moving before the snap. I'm looking the entire length of the field. Both sides, I see no flag. Well, there is certainly something being talked about. Oakland player jumped but got back on side. Kansas City player moved backwards, which is legal. It's fourth down. We're going to re replay the down. Whistle. Whistle blue. Kills it. The jump from the outside. He'll move and come right back to the middle there. He jumps. He sets. Goes back. Whistle blows. Right down here, you see him getting ready to wave it off. So they'll redo it. And, and, and you know, what a, what a break for Tim Brown. I got to say, Tim's got to catch this thing and take off. I agree. Or, if it, or, or plant your heels at the 10 and don't go back any further. You and I talking about one of the best punt returners ever. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to return this one. Here we go from the 11 yard line. The Heisman Trophy winner from Notre Dame with the block in the lane. And there he goes. A block from Jordan. A foot race down the sideline with Allen and with Beisel. And he's in for his second career touchdown on a punt return. Can you believe it? teams have to do a better job we just set up here Tim Brown's got to run that thing he lulled him to sleep what's the effect of an inadvertent whistle how about a touchdown second career touchdown on a punt return by Tim Brown the extra point is in his last touchdown returning a punt 1996 this is why he won the Heisman Trophy at Notre Dame the electrifying Tim Brown extends the leader lead They are in full throat right now in Oakland. Straczynski with the punt of 44 yards, the 88-yard return by Tim Brown, his 100th career touchdown. A thing of beauty. And now the Chiefs on the kickoff by Janikowski from the five. It's Dante Hall. He finds a seam. He's got a block. He's got Janikowski, the lumbering Polish kicker to beat. And now he's going up against Marcus Knight. He makes the catch at the 25. A 71-yard return by Dante Hall, who has never returned a kick for a touchdown. When you go back and you look at Tim Brown, all of the people down the field blocking for him. But I'll tell you what he did. He, he made Todd Allen tried to catch him, but Tim maintained his composure. He was breathing. He let that strength come through for him. The old man still had a little breakaway speed. And then, and then the Chiefs answer right there, Kevin. Here they come back. The Raiders collapse on their coverage unit. They bunch up, create a big cavity in the middle. On the 25-yard line, it is first down and 10. After the 71-yard return. And they go outside, and a gain of six on the play. And you can see the shoving after the play. And Priest Holmes continues to build on his totals on the ground this afternoon. 84 yards. Uh, you know, but it's been a while since they've had a good, effective first down play. A little talking going over there. You think they're asking for each other's mailing address for the Christmas cards or something? Huh? I doubt it. Not now. Now, this is where that rivalry, this is where that competitiveness comes into play. Second down and four at the 19. Holmes again. Blocked by Redmond. And a tackle made by reserve Johnny Harris, who comes in and makes the stop. And on the play, a gain of about a yard. So third down and three. At third down zone, this is where, again, Dick Vermeil did not want to get his team in. He wanted to convert on second down to first down. So... The Raiders have been decidedly better in this ball game on third down. They are the best in the league at stopping opponents on third down. They've been proving it true again today. Third down and three. 18 yard line. Green. 
There's a pass caught by the diving. Gonzalez is down at about the 12, a gain of seven. Now incomplete. They rule it incomplete with a late call. Well, all the Chiefs players are out there already looking to the bench, telling his, Vermil throw the flag out there because he caught this football. You know, again, is there something that can prove that he did not catch it? Ball's on the ground right there. I tell you what, that replay right there looks like he did not catch the ball. They are going to challenge it. And this will be the first time, which I, I can't even believe, this is the first time the Chiefs have challenged a play all season. That, that, that's got to be the last team in the end. It is. And the city is challenging the ruling on the field, which was an incompleted forward pass. We're reviewing the play. The ruling on the field stands. It is an incompleted forward pass. And the city is charged a timeout. Chiefs lose a timeout in the process. Boy, nice job by the referee, Ron Blum, just going out, seeing it quickly, making a decision, getting them back on the field, keep the game going. Now the Chiefs have one timeout remaining. And fourth down again. Here they come with a with a field goal attempt. It was just important, and it is important that they answer and at least put points on the board. So Todd Peterson, who has missed today from 28 and hit from 43, will try a 36-yarder. The hole will come from Dan Straczynski. And this one is perfect. From 36 yards. Chiefs get that good return by Dante Hall and get three. So a field goal of 36 yards by Peterson of Kansas City. He's now gone two of three and he closes the gap a bit for the Chiefs who are still reeling from that wonderful return on the punt by Tim Brown. The first touchdown he has had since 1991. <laughs> And after that field goal, Kansas City will kick off. Chiefs lost earlier this season to the Raiders 27-24 in the very first game of the season. It seems like years ago, doesn't it? But yeah, but the Chiefs players say that was a significant part of this season for them had they been able to pull that off, that the next several losses wouldn't have been so bad against them. Terry Kirby was fumbled once today. He finds a seam, and now he's off to the races and chased by Warfield and Peterson. Knocked out of bounds at about the 35, 33-yard line. It's like a circus inside this building today. 54-yard return. Man, these guys have forgot to play special teams. They don't know how to do it out here. Punt return, a kick return by the Chiefs, a kick return by the Raiders. The, the cover units of these two teams are just falling apart. Everybody's bunching up. Yes, I said Dante Hall, 71-yard kickoff return for the Chiefs. Sets up that field goal. Now the Raiders get it. Leading by eight at the Kansas City 33. First down and 10. Dan down the middle. And that is caught by Jerry Rice. It's a gain of nine. Another reception for Rice. It'll be second down and one. Rice has five. Catches today. Mark the ball at the 24. And, you know, Jerry Rice is over here on the right side. When he comes across, there's going to be a void. He's doing the crossing from your right to your left. See number 80 right here. Well, they stay on the outside. He hooks up right there. That's smart. Boom. Read where they're going. He wasn't going to go run into them. He just stopped in the void. Rich Gannon, who has a running touchdown himself today, has a second down and one of the Chiefs 24. And Charlie got nice block outside by Wisniewski. A flag has been thrown. Another flag is down. That's a 19-yard gain near the five-yard line as it stands right now. <laughs> I don't know if that bled right, through everybody right, else's ears. I heard it. Holding I heard number 76, Oakland. Personal foul. 15-yard face mask. Number 39, Kansas City. Those penalties offset. He plays second down. Well, Ray Crockett has had a cast on his hand. And he, and I don't, maybe he should have kept it on there where he couldn't have. Wisniewski called there on the outside there for the holding. All right. Now Garner gets down the field. Crockett gets uh, that's I don't know what Ray was looking at. He's a friend of mine, but man, it, that's face mask. Any way you look at it. Well, uh, I would, uh, if he had his face mask. He did. Huh? There's no, there's no 
complaint there at all. Second down and one. We play the down. 840 to play here in the third quarter. From the 24. Tyrone Wheatley diving for a first down. Finish the 20 to the 19-yard line, picking up five. Brought down by Eric Hicks on the defensive line. That's, that's an impressive statistic there. To me, that's when you're scoring that many times coming out on your first possession, which is the most in the NFL. That means you're really going in there and you have good, quick communication between your coaching staff, your assistants, and the players. And they adjust and they come back and take advantage of it. First down and 10 from the Chiefs 19. Down into Wheatley. Walking ahead. A fumble on the play. And the Chiefs have got it. That's picked up by Dwayne Clemens. His first fumble recovery, the second John Gruden turnover for the Oakland Raiders. And the Chiefs will stop the Raiders again deep in their own territory. With Snooski, this is a play that's been very successful for them. Tyrone Wheatley trying to make more out of it. Stripped from the inside, big play Chiefs. And the Oakland Raiders have scored today twice on the ground. A Wheatley touchdown run, again in touchdown run. Rice has got a touchdown pass. Tim Brown returned the punt, 88 yards for a touchdown. The Chiefs have gotten two touchdowns from Priest Holmes. First down and 10 after the fumble at the 17. Green outside to Holmes, breaks a tackle there of William Thomas. One and one with Beaker, breaks his tackle. And then is spun down after getting the first down up to the 29-yard line and a gain of 12. First down success. Been saying it since the beginning of this game here. It's so important to the Kansas City Chiefs offense. You know, they did two, two series in a row where they've done a nice job first down. Now, come on, continue the thing. Continue the beat. Don't have a, a false start. Something that they've been doing. Or drop balls. Drop balls have hurt them today. First down and 10 from the 29. You can see the graphic of yards on first down. Priest Holmes again. Blocked by Richardson. A tackle by Beaker. Gain of three up to the 32. Washington losing last week after reeling off five consecutive wins on top. And the Steelers holding on to a lead over the Jets. Who would have thought that we'd be saying that Arizona-Washington game is a pivotal game in the NFC East with two teams at five and six. Giants losing again. Exactly. Eagles winning. Eagles, you know. Second down and seven outside the 32. Pass fake. Here comes the rush of Reagan Upshaw. There goes the pass. It's bobbled incomplete. Well, ricochets off the shoulder pads of Derek Alexander. Incomplete pass. So it'll be third and seven. You know, I think this is one of those. Where, and it's a drop ball, by the way. This is one where you shouldn't use your hands. Use your body to catch it. See how he puts his hands up in top? I think that's a play right there where, as a receiver, use your body, not your hands. Let it come to your bread basket so that you can get hit and protect the football. So five drop passes today five by the them. Chiefs. And you can see the lack of success on third down. Third down and seven. From the 32. What a catch. Nope. Dropped it. Minutes. Did not get it. Incomplete pass. 38 yard line. It's the first time they have thrown to the rookie from Florida State, Marvin Snoop Minutes. Today, the Chiefs have got to pump the ball. You know, good protection. Everybody's there for him. And Minnis should have kept going. And I think that's what Trent Green was throwing the ball to a spot to continue going for him, not hooking up. And that's just a young receiver. That's a young guy not knowing the down and the distance, knowing where the coverage is, where they're sitting soft, and when they've gone and peeled off. Well, now that Tim Brown has warmed up, he awaits the putt again from Dan Straczynski. Warmed up, you kidding me? He's tired. <laughs> <laughs> he set up the return. Poor putt. Horrible putt. Landing at the 46. A great Kansas City bounce to the 42. 41. 26-yard punt. I don't know if he just missed it or what. He got a 15-yard roll. Yeah. Good one. So after the Chiefs punt, it's at the 41-yard line. And the Raiders with an eight-point lead. Mid-stages third quarter. Have it first down and ten. Gannon. Pocket crumbles 
Johnson is taken down. Sack the first of the day, and Rich Owens gets him. Rich Owens makes the sack. That's the second of the season for him. Well, they've given up the fifth fewest sacks in the league here. They come out, they get inside there, top of the screen, the pressure comes over to him, and they did a good job in the secondary of covering. They've only given up 17 sacks coming into this game, and you know that's just an indecisive part on Gannon, I think, right there. The secondary did their job, but he usually dumps it off. So push the ball back to the 36, where it's second down and 15. And Gannon winds up and throws a pass. Oh, what a stick by Woods on Tim Brown at midfield. He drilled him. Incomplete pass. Third and 15. Jer wow. Jerome Woods just delivered a big old kiss. Watch Woods over here on the right side. Here he is. Watch how he comes back and attacks. As soon as he saw the ball, he released out of where he was covering his zone area and came back to the inside. That's a big shot. That's a clean shot, too, because there are a lot of times these guys get, you know, questioned from the league office and then fine. But I thought that was a good clean hit. Gannon hit it. Five consecutive passes until that miss. Third and 15 from the 36. Going at the 40, caught by Garner, has to get up to the 49 of Kansas City and does not. So the defense holds, and the Raiders have got a punt. Three and out. Shane Leckler to punt. Dante Hall is back at about the... Well, drifting back down to the 10. Angled punt, not out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. Make it the 17th. 38-yard punt by Shane Leckler. Well, coming into today, the Raiders were in the thick of the AFC playoff hunt. Pittsburgh is beating the Jets. Miami plays tomorrow night against the Colts. Raiders now and the rest of them. Uh, and, and look at this division record over here. I mean, when you start looking at the division records, everybody's pretty much bunched up. New England winning 8-5. and five. How about that? The Patriots at 8-5. and five. Seattle, don't forget about Seattle. They're right there on the outside. Big game coming up this, this weekend for them. They play tonight against Denver. 17-yard line. First down and 10 after the punt by Leckler. The pitch out to Holmes. A good block and some room to roll. Stiff arming his way out of bounds, tackled by Johnny Harris, and he gets a first down, maybe, depending on the spot, which is about the 27-yard line. Now let's see if they give it to him. He's so shifty. Go ahead. What, what happens is, once he gets up in the hole, watch free safety 33, Anthony Dorsett. Watch where he hits him up high. See how he's going high? Go low. Drive through him with your head on the outside. He doesn't do that. Holmes makes the nice run. It's down, they give it to him at the 27. And hopping and galloping his way. Holmes breaking tackles again, and he's up to the 44. Hurdling defenders, 115 yards on the ground today for Priest Holmes. His fifth 100-yard rushing effort of the season. Earlier in the game, he went over 1,000 yards rushing for the year. You know, again, we talk about gap responsibilities. You see how they're all bunched up over here. They've got the penetration, but there's nothing here. There's no support. The safeties aren't coming up supporting. Greg Wesley, the safety for the Chiefs, is up in the hole when the back breaks. The Raiders aren't there supporting. Eric Allen could have come back into the middle and helped quicker. A lot of those yards have come up the middle for Holmes today. First and 10, that time hit by William Thomas, and he's driven down, no gain, 45-yard line. Second down and about 10. Thomas just said there, hey, I'm going to stop you before you get going. We can't get you once you're in the open field. The Chiefs are getting their money's worth with Holmes, aren't they? They were hoping for that today. They're going to get the Raiders defense, giving up 192 yards on the ground average the last four weeks. That was a key to the game. Can they run the football against the defense that's given it up? Now the Raiders have allowed three 100-yard rushers over the last handful of games. Second down and 10. Moving up is Green, pocket crumbles, hit and put down by Reagan Upshaw. Third, they get second. Sack today for the Raiders. And push it back to the 41, 42-yard line. 
Upshaw with his fourth sack of the season. Tony Gonzalez, when he gets across the field, he's going to run, get over to this side. Watch when he gets there. They're trying to find him. He's waiting, waiting. Look at these three guys. They are blanketing Tony Gonzalez. Three defenders, Raiders guys, drop back in to get him. That's why Tony Gonzalez has been frustrated at times. Third down and 12 outside the 42. Green, here comes Upshaw, here comes Cooper, they got him, and Cooper's got him with another sack, the third of the day. Chris Cooper's first career sack, and the Chiefs have got a punt. Cooper's trying to make a little statement here, isn't he? Number 75, reliving the old days of Howie Long. They're going to forget about Howie at this, <laughs> at this pace. He just stayed after it. He just stayed with it. Second effort, and he got to him. That's at 275. He's a lighter guy coming around the outside. Todd Peterson is punting because Dan Straczynski took a blow to the head. He is out, and the field goal kicker is punting. Todd Peterson. This end of Rand Boot caught 25-yard line by Brown. And then submarines his way to the 37. Brought down by Maslowski and Monty Bison. So Peterson's punt, good for about 35 yards with the 12-yard return. In the NFC, the Rams winning handily. Green Bay took care of Chicago, and Philadelphia won. They're controlling the NFC East. Big win by New Orleans down at Atlanta today. Tampa Bay comes back to beat Detroit. Chicago, uh, by the way, has lost twice to Green Bay, and that's why they are below that line. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a nice month of December, isn't it? Ooh. Terrific football ahead of us. 37 yard line, first and 10. After the Chiefs punt, Charlie Gardner. Oh, he got a great block on the side from Zach Crockett. And that opened up the door. He's down to the Kansas City 45. 18 yard run. Zach Crockett stuck with this block on the side and gets his teammate. The first down, Crockett taking the place of the injured John Ritchie with a high ankle sprain. Ritchie is out for at least a month, they think. Raiders coming into this season, they had some depth to deal with. Of course, you don't want to lose John Ritchie, but Zach Crockett is doing a nice job for them today. And Crockett, not known as a blocker, Ritchie's supposed to be the world-class blocker. First and 10, 46. Another Crockett block. Gardner there, but he is swarmed and taken down by Rich Owens for perhaps a gain of one. Owens makes the stop, second down and nine. Raiders leading the AFC West coming into today by two games over Seattle. They've beaten the Chiefs four consecutive times. The home record this year, five and one, losing last week. Second down long, nine inside the 45. Gannon, who has thrown a touchdown today. That ball is deflected incomplete. Hicks, who is very tall at over 6'5", got in that uh, passing lane and breaks it up incomplete. Well, I tell you what, though, that was, that was a real, real fortunate deal for the Kansas City Chiefs because the formation changes and all the motion had put the linebacker Cadrez in the un un unknown land. He didn't know really where to go with it. Hicks gets up and deflects it because that was a fear of the Chiefs, that because of the changes in the formations prior to the snap, that the linebackers in Kansas City would be left out on islands. Less than a minute to play here in the third quarter. Third down, long nine, and there goes Woods jumping across the line. Man. Raiders have scored on two rushing touchdowns, a throw to Rice, the third touchdown, then a punt return touchdown of 88 yards by Tim Brown. Encroachment number 21, Kansas City, five yards, repeat third down. Talking about stealing out of the cookie jar before she's even finished baking. <laughs> Holy mackerel, that wasn't even close. Wonder what game he was watching. <laughs> Now, from third and a long nine to third and four, changes things a little bit inside the 40-yard line. Oakland has turned the ball over twice today, and the Chiefs on a single turnover. Third and four inside the 40. Again, good time, good block by Randy Jordan. There goes Gannon, he's got to get to the 36. He goes deep on the sideline, intercepted. Picked off on the play by Woods. His That's second pick of the season. And the Woods third Raider turnover today as Rich Gannon 
who came in throwing an NFL low four interceptions throws one today the third in two games Williams gets behind him and Woods comes blowing back recognizes they're beaten where they were and like you say Gannon doesn't make very many mistakes he just floats this ball up there a little bit too much but that's why they the, the, the scouting report from the Kansas City Chiefs on Rich Gannon was not a big cannon he can't rifle it down there so you can get some floaters from him glad to see Woods is back watching our game after trying to steal cookies out of the cookie jar so now Stranded at his own two, Trent Green with the black hole and deafening noise. Hands off to Priest Holmes, a great block by Gonzalez. That will give him some breathing space out to the 10. Marquez Pope makes the tackle. Clock continues to tick. A uh, gain of eight yards, hard-earned eight yards by Priest Holmes. 124 on the ground today. How good is this guy? Well, I mean, what a bargain. What a, it's everything they had hoped for when they signed him, they have got Dick Vermeil did a lot of scouting on him before this even came up to whether he might get him as a free agent. And unanimously, lots of folks around the league said take him. Second down and two from the 10. Holmes again. Not much there. Russell with the tackle. One of the calls he made was to John Makovic, the ex-Kansas City coach, because Makovic had him at Texas. And Mac said, hey, keep up with this guy. He works hard. He'll set the tone in practice. Good example. And we begin the fourth quarter with the Chiefs at their own 10. Kevin Harlan, Greg James, and Beasley Reese. Chiefs have got two touchdowns from Holmes on the day, two field goals. Raiders a couple rushing touchdowns, a punt return touchdown by Tim Brown, his first since 1991. Wow. And Rice with a touchdown reception. So first play of the fourth quarter, third down and two from the 10. And off the hole. There's a block by Rickman, and there he goes. A block by Gonzalez, and a first down run to the 21 yard line. A 10 yard gain by Holmes, and the Chiefs will move the chains. Oh, my goodness. You know, they, when they come around the corner here, they're going to get around. They're going to really push the corner. Now, watch the linebackers. Look at Beaker at 54. Nice block right here. Look up top. Look here. That, I mean, that's just. Great man on man. Nobody coming clean. Everybody doing their job for the Chiefs, finding the right person to block. Big day for Holmes on the ground, 135 yards. First and 10 from the 21. Tate with the block. Green going deep down the side and bobbled and caught out of bounds. Caught out of bounds by Alexander. The acrobatic catch won't count. Second down and 10. And Beasley Reese, what do you have? Uh, guys, you guys are talking a lot about uh, Priest Holmes, and deservedly so. Uh, one thing about it, if you look at his body, he's stronger than the people who are trying to tackle him. That's one of the keys to his success. And coming into this game, the great Marshall Falk, who was in Dick Vermeil's offense, had 1292 total yards. Um, our guy in this game, Priest, had 1358. Now, Marshall missed a couple of games, but production is production. Good point, Brady Jackson on second down and 10 devours Priest Holmes there. <laughs> and Grady Jackson of about a yard. <laughs> and Grady Jackson's stronger than he yes. <laughs> He's, There's about two Priest Holmes inside of Grady Jackson. <laughs> Big Grady put the put the hammer down on him there. That's what he does at the dinner table, too. Look at that. Oh, I would not like to eat with him. <laughs> you, you know why? You, you wouldn't get anything. Don't ever invite him to one of our production meetings. Tony Gonzalez has not caught a pass in the second half. Third down, nine at the 21. Green, screen pass. It's Holmes. Oh, a block by Shields. Banging his way up field for a first down is Holmes. On third and nine, he picks up 14. Shields led the way. Spot him at the 35. And, and, and this is what I was thinking they should be doing here. They're going to get the ends up the field. They're going to leak in here with a screen pass. There's so much aggressiveness now from the outside. The execution's really good there. Priest Holmes in the open space against their linebackers. And again, the Chiefs finding down the field the right middle block. 35-yard line, first and 10 for Trent Green. The pitch out goes to Mike Cloud, who comes in. A Gonzalez block down the sideline goes Mike Cloud. A 16-yard run by Cloud as they give Holmes a breather. Former high pick out of Boston College a couple years ago. That's just his seventh carry of the season. 
Well, I'll tell you who needs a breather. Breather is that defensive line of the Raiders right now. They're they're gassed. And and you know we just showed you the graphic there on third in the second quarter they had zero rushing yards. This third quarter a big turnaround. Back to running the football by the Chiefs. Just beyond midfield in Raider territory. First and ten. Cloud still in the backfield. Green, good block by Waters. The pass downfield to Gonzalez. Get it? He has it. Is it a catch? Incomplete. Incomplete pass. He was close. He has not made a catch in the second half yet. We've got 12-29 to play. Hey, this is outstanding pass defensive coverage by Johnny Harris, number 37, against the best tight end probably in the game. Going up and stripping it. And a, a, a just tremendous job of knowing where the ball is going to go and getting up into it with his hands. And Unofficially, we've got seven drop passes by the Chiefs today. Yeah, I don't think I'd call that one, though. I, I agree. That isn't a drop. I would agree. And there's one by Alexander, too, that was would have been an incredible catch back in the first half. Second down and 10, ninth play of the drive. At the 50, screen pass, scooped up by Holmes. Grabbed from behind and brought down by Daryl Russell at the 41, close to a first down. It's a gain of seven, which will set up third down and a couple to go, about two. Well, one of the officials oh, is running I, in there. They're waving it off. Yeah, someone let them turn in here. That that incomplete, bounce. very good call. Outstanding call. Incomplete pass. And pass is rolled incomplete. Ball hit the ground. And the Chiefs only oh, have yeah. one timeout left. <laughs> And earlier in the game, they used their first challenge of the season. And I wouldn't challenge work this out. One. No, I wouldn't either. Third Chiefs down. have one timeout remaining. As you said, Craig, and Oakland has three. But those are the kind of plays they need to continue to run. He just threw the ball short there. Had he thrown it on time and completed it all right, they had again blockers down the field. So now third down and 10. Just inside Raider territory at midfield. Holmes is in there, and Green fires a pass to the side. It's incomplete. Now fourth and ten, and they got a punt. And that's the bad news, but the good news is Dan Straczynski is back out there after Peterson punted last time. So Straczynski is out. I guess the blow to the head, not as severe as one's thought. And there's Tim Brown, who returned a Straczynski punt earlier in the game, back 88 yards for a touchdown. Johnny Harris on that series right there saved his Raiders defense because that was a great effort going up to stop the ball being completed to Tony Gonzalez. The ex-Atlanta Falcons, Straczynski's had a pretty good season. Sends this downfield. Fair caught at the 15-yard line by Tim Brown. And we still have a close game of 34-yard punt by Straczynski. Nice play by Johnny Harris forcing the Kansas City punt. Rich Gannon is thrown for a touchdown today. He ran one in also from a couple yards out. Kevin Harlan, Craig James. Is he your MVP right now through this? Well, he's certainly right up season. there with Brett Favre. You know, there, yeah. there are some guys out there that could be candidates, but he said last week he tried to force a few things against Arizona. He had the interception on the last series. I bet he manages it better this time. Charlie Garner on first and ten. And brought down after a gain of about five on the play by Wesley. Then he's out to the 20-yard line. They've had some close games, these two teams. Four of the last five decided by exactly three points, including the first game this season in Kansas City, where Gruden and the Raiders beat the Chiefs by three with a uh, firework finish at Arrowhead to open the season. Second down and five. Just outside the 20. Gannon down the middle he goes, and it's caught by Joey Porter. Who is the heir apparent to both Rice and Brown at wide receiver? A former second round pick out of West Virginia picks up seven yards on the play to the 27. And to Beasley, Reese, we go. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Rich Gannon told us in our meeting yesterday his main focus, number one, is protecting the football. So I'm sure he's very upset about his turnover and turnovers by his teammates. Uh, it's something he learned, oddly, by playing for uh, Marty Schottenheimer, the great coach from Kansas City for so many years. Don't turn it over. Go, Martin. 27 yard line, first and 10. The pitch out to Garner, chased by Hicks, gets by him, gets by Pat, and then slowed down and brought down by Wesley. And some shoving after the play, and there go the fingers pointing again. 
It wouldn't be the Chiefs and Raiders unless you had a lot of this. We've had some of it this afternoon. We've watched a lot of Chiefs football on tape and in person. I, I want to say they're playing about as good a defensive game as we've seen from them. Their special teams has hurt them to, in this game here yes. specifically. The missed field goal, the drop punt passes. return, yes, drop passes have hurt them all. Game long on offense. Second down and 14 from the 23. There's Gannon Audibles at the line. Quick throw down the side, working on Warfield. They got Rice again, flagged down. Game is to the 33. And that'll wipe it away. Flag should be on Oakland. Here we go, shift. Two men for Oakland moving at the same time without resetting. Five yards, repeat second down. You know, Gannon is such a perfectionist, Craig, but even John Gruden conceded yesterday that Gannon has been a little bit more uh, easy to work with, so which, to speak, on the field. Which means the players accept it a little easier, right? Yes. You know, kill them with a little sugar. Yeah. And so I think Gannon, you know, it's, it's, it's a process. He is so intense. But perfectionist is what you'd put on the back of that uniform. And that's why he's an MVP candidate. That's right. He has thrown an interception today. Second down, 19. Back at the 18 for Gannon. Deep drop by Gannon. Fires a pass downfield, and he threads it to Tim Brown. Tackled by Marcus Patton. On second, 19, he picks up 12 near the 30-yard line. This is like stealing candy from a kid. They get bunched up over there with Rice and Brown. They both drive off. Rice goes across the middle of the field. Brown takes off deep, hooks up, finds the soft spot. I just don't think that the Chiefs secondary, and I'm sure they'd agree with me later, that they're not hugging close enough in their brackets on Tim Brown. Well, third down and seven near the 30-yard line. Comes the blitz by Katraz. He was blocked. Here comes Gannon. Now the pocket's down, and he goes down. Second sack today. Katraz is on him. Derek Ransom has him. And the Chiefs snuff him out, and they force the Raiders to punt. Uh, up top, here's where all the action's going to start. Come around. Tim Brown gets knocked off of his feet. It was not pass interference, and that's where the whole problem occurred. They have a linebacker that comes late, makes him force him coming up. But I promise you, the thing that happened was down in the middle of the field, Tim Brown gets tripped up accidentally. No pass interference call on it, rightfully so. And that threw the whole playoff. So Leckler to punt. And Dante Hall's back inside the 30 for the Chiefs. High hanging punt by Leckler. 27-yard line for Hall. And sliding downfield was Brandon Jennings who made the team as a rookie free agent and flies down for the good tackle on Oakland special teams. We're in Oakland, which is the uh, close city next to the beautiful city of San Francisco. Trent Green, 11 to 25, a touchdown pass today. First and 10 after the Oakland punt at the 27. Screen pass to Green, brought down by Rod Coleman at the 29. It's a gain of two. Uh -huh, they're getting wise to it over there now. The Raiders defensive line saying, look at Bluey here. He's run that on us a few times, and Upshaw that time smelled it, dropped right back into it. Beekert found his guy. So they've taken away that screen. Holmes today has caught five passes for 109 yards. He has rushed for over 100, 136 to be exact. Second down and about nine. 28, the block by Tate, the run by Holmes. Falks off his outstretched arm to get more room and then finally brought down by Dorsett. And Bryant, there's a shove by Brian Waters. But no flag on the play. He'll be very close to a first down, up near the 37. And the Raiders this time, they're going to decide to come in here. I call these things the run blitzes. They're bringing the linebackers up hard. But again, man on man, no penetration. Look at the lane. They cut him down. I want you to see now also how when he used, when he's running the football and his legs, he keeps his hands down there. It's a good job of using the ground to keep his body going. I'm very impressed with the Kansas City Chiefs blocking today. I guarantee you Priest would agree with that. Huh? It's been tough. Chiefs have not lost back-to-back -back games to Oakland since 1977 and 78. 
We lost earlier this season. And again, Vermeil's wish is coming true. Get a first down on second down. Don't wait till third down because it's so good. They're so tough over there. Chiefs don't look like a three and eight team, do they? No, not at all. We've said that though before. You know, they've had their times where they've been bad, but today they're doing their job. Near the 38, Gannon with the pocket, or rather, uh, Green with the pocket crumbling throws for the first time this half to Tony Gonzalez. It's a gain of 15 yards, and it's to the Raider 48 and another Kansas City first down. Gonzalez has been a little quiet in this game. A couple of drops, but he is working. I mean working extremely hard to get open. Three catches for Gonzalez today. Near the 47, first and 10. The pitch out to Holmes. Runs in a very congested area. And Elijah Alexander is there. Eric Martin is there. Number 23 is Marquez Pope, and it's a gain of one. Inside the 47. Second down and nine. The Chiefs have one timeout. The Raiders have three. The Chiefs are down by eight. I would say the Raiders defense has figured out on the toss when that guard's pulling. You better hump time to get out there. But the problem is they've hump time to get out there several times, but been too aggressive and lost their gap responsibilities. Near the 46, second down and nine. Green with another good block by Tate Jones. It's intercepted on the deflection and picked up by Travian Smith, the reserve linebacker. He has his first career interception. And the Chiefs think there's a fumble after the play. And the Chiefs get it on the fumble after the interception. Eddie Kennison on the back side's coming around. A beautiful pass by Trent Green. The deflection, the ball comes off. And when it's intercepted by Smith, I want you to watch Eddie Kennison come back into this play. 87 comes back and works hard, strips the football, and Tony Richardson comes up with it. That was great effort by Kennison after blowing a catch to get back into the play. So the Chiefs get a little break for a young football team because of hustle by Eddie Kennison. Inside the 39, first and 10. It's Holmes dancing free, a block down field, and that came from Minnis, and he gets a first down as he runs down to the 24-yard line on a gain of 15 yards. Well, since 96, Raiders have lost 19 games after leading during the fourth quarter. 23, first and 10. Richardson, a block from Wegman. He crushes the defender, Dorsett. Gains five as he also busted into Elijah Alexander. And they put that ball at the 17. Casey Wigman's played a good game. I mean, this whole Chiefs offensive line, they have had a heck of a football game. And statistically, you know what? We've said it before. What's, what's wrong with this picture here? You guys are really good ranked offensively. And they said, well, we just don't score enough points off of what we've done. 17-yard line, second down and five. Richardson again. There's a hole. Grabbed by Johnny Harris and torn down inside the 10. It's a gain of eight. It's a first down to the Oakland nine. First and goal for Kansas City. This is that good complement of strength. And, that, you know, they're not doing anything fancy up front. They're just coming off on their guys. Nobody's penetrating. I think the Raiders are tired. Nothing fancy at all. This is man-on-man, -man, base blocking straight ahead. Nobody's coming off their blocks by the Raiders. Holmes is in the backfield inside the 10, first and goal. Holmes, a Redman block, a Menace block, and a gain of four near the five. Who's 
167 yards rushing today for Priest Holmes. Another spectacular Sunday afternoon. And he's got like 109, you just said, on receiving. Receiving. So, uh, you know, In including a 60 plus yard touchdown reception earlier in the game. He is exhausted, but I tell you, he's more tired as that Raiders defense. They've been out there a long time. A long drive by the Chiefs. Second down, goal at the five. to about the four, maybe the three and a half, and then plugged up and taken down. Yeah, Tony Bryant in the middle to hit him. Third down and goal. Chiefs have one timeout, and Trent Green is gonna operate with an empty backfield. Third and goal at the four. Green, here comes Beaker, there goes Green. There goes the pass, it's incomplete. It's fourth and goal at the four. Tony Gonzalez is hot, saying that he was held once he got into the end zone. Well, a decision here. Do you go for it or do you try it for three? Because you know you're going to have to, of course, if you go in, you can try it for two. So there are a lot of options right now on the plate of Dick Vermeil. What would you do? Well, I, I think I would go for it. You know, with three minutes to go in the game, you can't count on not getting back down there. I thought it was a four-down zone for them. Well, I would say this, they've got one timeout to go. I'd probably call timeout and make a little regrouping effort, make sure I knew what I was going to call. And Green now is arguing that the play clock is wrong. And I think he's won that battle. The play clock is not running. The big clock is stuck at 3.03. Look at Rich Gannon out there. Rich Gannon is down about the five-yard line. Reset the play clock to 10 seconds. Started on my signal. That's given what this has done. It has given the Chiefs time to think about what play would work. Well, time out. Kansas City. And we're going to take your advice and burn their final timeout. Big play coming up for the Chiefs. We'll have it for you after this break. After the Kansas City final timeout, fourth and goal inside the five, near the four. Green to the end zone and oh, knocked away by Charles Woodson. And on downs, the Raiders get it back in a spectacular play by Woodson, who has been to the Pro Bowl every year he has been in the NFL. This is the guy I thought they needed to get the ball to, Derek Alexander, because we all know Tony Gonzalez is going to be double and triple team. An outstanding play by a guy who has turf toe. Well, after stopping the Chiefs with a fourth and goal at the four, with a great play by Charles Woodson on Derek Alexander, on downs the Raiders take over, shy of the five. First and ten. Charlie Garner up the middle for two. Chiefs are out of timeouts. Raiders have three. How big was that punt decision today by Gruden to put Timmy Brown back there returning punts? Huge. Right now it's the difference. Second down eight from the seven. Garden. Grabbed by Marcus Patton. Torn down after a gain of perhaps two. They're near the ten. It'll be third down. Now the clock is going to stop at two minutes, and that'll be a natural timeout. Both teams can regroup as Gannon walks to the sideline and he'll discuss things. We'll be at the two minute warning. The Chiefs are down by eight. An important third down play coming up for the Raiders, who lead it 28 to 20. Two minute warning, third down and five. The coaches Gruden and Vermeil surveying from the 10. Chiefs have no timeouts. Oakland has three. Fake handoff. Here comes Gannon. has got to get to the 15-yard line. A fumble on the play. It's loose. It's still open. And the Chiefs have grabbed the ball on a Rich Gannon fumble. The fourth Oakland turnover today. And the Chiefs are back in business at the Raider 27. Gannon had the first down. Wesley comes out of the pack with the ball. 
149 to play. It's like it. he's hitting a second gear right in here. He's getting ready to take off and go the distance. And like you say, he will probably admit, and it's hard to it's easy to say from up here, but hard to do down there, is once you've got the first down, go down. Game's over with. But he sees daylight and he's taken off. Looked like perhaps Dwayne Clemens knocked the ball away. So the Chiefs have it. Again, no timeouts. 27 yard line at the Raiders. Four Raider turnovers this afternoon. And Green on first and ten. A block by Holmes. Here goes a pass outside. Caught by Richardson. Just got that last foot in. Picks up four yards. Stops the clock. 144. Spot the ball at the 23. At some point, they're going to bunch it up. Look for the single shot with Derek Alexander, because you know Gonzalez has doubled up, or throw the swing pass to Priest Holmes to let him go one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker. Now second down and six inside the 24. Here, here's the guy. Get him out one of these directions right here with the linebacker. He's got 277 yards from scrimmage this afternoon. Green again. Winds up. Down the middle. Caught for a touchdown. Tony Gonzalez. A 23-yard touchdown pass by Green. And now the decision very clear. They've got to go for two for the tie. Gonzalez has worked so hard all day long, getting off the line of scrimmage. Nobody bumped him, which is usually the way teams do. The little out and up move. That's that little coast route. That got the safety out of position and allowed Gonzalez to get back to the middle. Trent Green's second touchdown pass today. Now they try for two in the tie. And that's what they've done this year on two-point conversion tries. Green. Fumble. Down. That's it. That's it. Chiefs can't stop the clock. A great defensive play by the Raiders, who appear to have held on for a win. Rod Coleman was there and applying the defensive pressure along with an avalanche of Raider defenders. Took too long to get rid of the football. And again, I've been calling for this thing. And, and the play before, when they throw the touchdown pass, they had brought Charles Woodson up to cover Priest Holmes on that swing pass, which opened up ultimately Gonzalez. On this one here, Beaker is coming from the inside. 54 is going to go to the left. He's covered up and has a shot at Priest Holmes. I thought Priest Holmes should have got the ball on that one there. And I know they'll look back at the films and say, hey, look, dump it right now. You got one on one. Beaker's out here in the flat. I like my chances with Priest Holmes and, his, and the ball in his hands against Beaker. Reagan Upshaw with a great move on that defensive line as he goes after Trent Green. And the defense came at Green. The pocket crumbled and he was left with no choice. And so the Chiefs, it appears, will come two points short from tying the game after the Gannon turnover had given them life. Now, they are two points away. You know the onside kick is being planned by Todd Peterson and Dick Vermeil. <laughs> it's, it's been that kind of game where you just got to shake your head and smile. So they will try for the onside kick. And the Raiders have running backs and defensive backs up on that line of scrimmage. We're up on the 40-yard line. It's got to go 10 yards. But that's as far as they can go. But, you know, he was turnover battle. It's plus three to Kansas City, and he thought he'd win this game if he was plus three. So Peterson with the onside kick. It's grabbed, and the Raiders have it. And it's taken by Joey Porter. But go back to a missed field goal of 28 yards earlier in the game. End of the first half by Todd Peterson. He had made 14 straight. He misses that one. And they had a, a wonderful job of getting down with a shot at it. But I tell you, the play of the game, in my mind, is the inadvertent whistle by the official on that punt that was fair caught at the 20-yard line or 10-yard line. They had to reload. Tim Brown returned it for a touchdown. And that missed field goal by Peterson, the first miss for him 
inside 30 yards since 1996. Okay, okay. Been a good game. Okay, guys, okay. The Chiefs. Barring a turnover here by the Raiders or anything miraculous like that, will have lost to Oakland five consecutive times. And this will be the first five-game winning streak against the Chiefs since 82 to 84 for the Raiders, <laughs> who at that time were in Los Angeles. He can't even smile and just enjoy it when he knows no. he's got it. Craig, you were talking about that inadvertent whistle. We have just received word from the replay box here that the whistle came from the stands and not from the field. Wow. We've had four weeks in a row where a whistle, whether it's from the field or the stands, has had an impact in the game. It gives new meaning to a 12th man, huh? Because that touchdown run by... Tim Brown on the punt is the difference. And the Raiders go to 9-3, and three and the Chiefs fall to 3-9. and nine. The Raiders now go to 6-1 and one at home. And they beat the Chiefs today by two, five of the last six games in this series have been decided by three points or less. A big day for Priest Holmes. Over a thousand on the ground for the season. 168 today. The Craig James and Beasley Reese, Kevin Harlan saying so long. The Raiders beat the Chiefs by two.